I'm going to show you how to change brake pads on your car using this Repco ratcheting disc brake spreader. It's a mouthful, but it works brilliantly. It actually pushes the pistons back on your brake calipers, making the job really easy. Now this is the old brake pad. See the thickness of the new one against the thickness of the old one. If I were to put the new brake pads in, there's no chance that the caliper would go back on top. Okay, so now we're going to use the tool to push back the pistons. I've wound in the Repco ratcheting disc brake spreader all the way in, ready to go into the caliper. I slide it into the caliper cavity. I line it up centrally with both the pistons in this case. Hold the centre barrel and start ratcheting slowly. There'll be some resistance as the pistons start to compress. The reason being is that the fluid has to displace back to the reservoir. If I were to try and hurry that, I could damage seals inside the system. Once you get to the end of the piston movement, you'll feel the tool harden up. That's the end. Don't over push and don't push against that hardness. It's as far back as they'll go. We're getting very close now. Okay, we're done. So now we can flip over the ratchet and wind back in the plates enough to remove the tool. This Repco disc brake spreader is so simple to use and makes changing your brake pads a lot easier.